We got blessed with more Horizon Forbidden West info and gameplay. Two small new gifts were posted. It's the best we got right now, but it's still pretty interesting. I'm still holding my fingers crossed for a brand new trailer at the Game Awards on December 9th. Let's start with one of the new gameplay bits. We namely see Aloy in a brand new Utaru-inspired outfit. We had the Utaru Harvester in the summer gameplay trailer. And now we see a slightly different variant on that. In Zero Dawn, we could already meet Ray from the Utaru tribe. But overall, they were not really prominently featured. In a recent blog post though, Gorilla shared that they will be featured more heavily in Horizon Forbidden West with an updated design, grounded fashion construction and expanding the use of materials to create a practical clothing to fit their day-to-day -day activities. And we already saw their updated design of course in the first trailer and now Aloy has multiple outfits inspired by this tribe. Before I touch on the familiar and interesting machine in this small bit of new footage, I want to touch on some new outfit info that I haven't discussed before in videos yet. So while it seems that they're still holding on to just one piece for every outfit, we also should expect similar buffs to various elements and dangers we can encounter in the Forbidden West. So expect elemental resistance and just pure damage resistance. Hopefully they are a bit more playful than the buffs we saw on previous outfits. But what is new is that these outfits have skills attached to them. So players can boost their ability in different ways so maximizing these skills happens through a new and improved skill tree something we will tell you more about some other time hopefully that some other time is soon because I really can't wait for them to talk more about the customization and progression maybe during like a state of play in January similar to what we saw for Ghost of Tsushima but for now it's already interesting to know that we will be able to upgrade outfits and change them a bit to fit our playstyle which should make this system more interesting now fingers Fingers crossed for transmog at launch so we can have Aloy look the way we want while keeping the stats from a different armor set. And yes, the Ravagers are back as confirmed by this gif with the gun of course they have on their back which Aloy is now removing. Of course if you would then pick that up in Horizon Zero Dawn you would be able to unleash the full magazine on nearby enemies. Felt always really satisfying so it seems like this mechanic is back and likely expanded upon for the new machines. And talking a bit about some of these older machines because they now note in a new blog post that some of the machines encountered during the events of Horizon Zero Dawn will be present in the upcoming sequel. So not all of them will be back, which is kind of surprising in a way. We already know the snap mod is of course back to mostly be annoying while we explore the underwater areas. They also mentioned that the Watcher will be back in Forbidden West Iconic, makes sense, and we of course saw the Charger as a mount in the first trailer. And also in a new machine block, developers share how they love the Thunderjaw and the Stormbird. So, personally I would be shocked if we don't see them in Forbidden West. Maybe the Stalker too, they now got like a giant life-sized statue of a Stalker in the Gorilla Games office, which I was able to see some time ago. You would think that they would then put that machine also in Forbidden West, although this is not confirmed. And by the way, if you like the video so far and enjoy the Horizon content here on the channel, then leaving a like on the video would of course really help me out. We're also doing a giveaway for the Digital Deluxe Edition, which you can enter via the link in the pinned comment. And these giveaways are only for subscribers of the channel. So before I look at the other new gameplay and some brand new mechanics that will be added in the game, let's talk about more returning machines and also likely absent machines that will likely not be in Forbidden West. I personally think the Frozen Wilds machines will also be in Forbidden West because those were only part of the Frozen Wilds expansion so I think only a small portion of the player base played them so they will be new for those people. Like Firstly, I think that the less popular machines stay in Zero Dawn, like the Rock Breaker or the Trampler and the Long Leg. I personally would have hoped that all the machines would be back in Forbidden West, then you already have like a huge catalog and then adding on to that would mean a ton of different enemies. But I guess you gotta have some exclusives to the first game and it of course also takes time to bring them all over to the new game and make them exciting again, I would imagine. And Maybe like in terms of lore, it also makes sense that not all the machines from the Zero Dawn area 
are in the Forbidden West. At least let the Glint Hawks stay in Horizon Zero Dawn. Like, I don't need these annoying birds anymore in Forbidden West. And we now got the Sunwings as well to take over their spots. And we now learned that these Sunwings will be vulnerable when they are harvesting solar power. But they're also more alert to potential predators when they are idle. So good to keep in mind that when you see a Sunwing that you are careful because they are more easily alerted. Other new machines are showcased in the second gameplay GIF. Seems that the Claw Strider ignores the new flamethrower attack from the Tremor Tusk. Like they already revealed many abilities for this war element. So awesome that out of nowhere they revealed another one. And we by the way now learned that the purpose of the Tremor Tusk in the world of Horizon is to protect machines from humans. So we will likely see them protecting less capable enemies when we encounter them in the wild. And so far we've only seen this machine taken over by the Tanakh tribe. If you don't count the statue of the regular collector's edition of course. Which does give us a first look at the regular less deadly design of the Tremor Tusk. So yeah the Tanakh tribe has of course learned to override these machines thanks to an old friend. And speaking of overriding machines... Aloy has uh, some new moves combined with this technique. Aloy can now exert some control over machine behavior, shifting them into aggressive or defensive states. So we have a bit more control over the machines that can fight alongside us which is nice because in Zero Dawn this was of course still a fun feature but because you had no control over the machine they would just attack everyone nearby and then die insanely fast. It was just not a very viable option for the time invested because you would of course have to sneak up to a machine or use the rope caster in order to override them. So I hope they improve the system even more otherwise we will just use it to get new mounts. There will be more mounts in Forbidden West then in Zero Dawn and it seems like a great tactic to start a combat encounter on the back of a machine. Because now also in this new GIF we see that Aloy can jump from a mount and enable the slow motion to carefully hit the enemy. And I'm either stupid or... It, this is really new right? Because I know some other games did this like SS Creed has this. But when going back to Horizon for this video... I wasn't able to find an option to jump off the mount. Maybe you remember that riding on the mount during combat in Zero Dawn was never really smart as you would be a very easy target for machines. So it seems like that has changed with enemies of course using machines and riding them to fight you. And we now see a lot of official Aloy mounted gameplay as well. So it seems like a solid option in the sequel. I by the way went a bit more in depth on that blue outfit. I still think it's a Karja armor. We also see in this GIF. You can check that video out by clicking on the screen in a moment. I by the way also put the GIFs back to back on my second channel. So you can watch them without any editing as many times as you want. Link to that will be in the pinned comment. Subscribe for Everything Horizon if you haven't already. A like on the video would of course really help me out. And check out the previous video I did on the reads, the info and other GIFs by clicking on the screen. For now I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.